Hi guys, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I hope you guys can hear me. I wanted to try out using my earphones here because I know that I speak very quietly and I actually like that about myself. So I'm not trying to train myself into shouting, but I know at the same time that you guys need to be able to hear me. And I feel like if you have, you know, earphones, it's probably easy to hear me. And I also put closed captioning in all my videos as well. But um, in the spirit of doing that, I wanted to do you guys a love reading real quick. And I don't know what's going to come out. So this is just going to be for whoever finds the reading and for, you know, whoever the reading resonates for. Okay. So I am going to shuffle on camera because I have this cord here hanging off my device because it's the microphone, the earphones and stuff. So I wanted to see, you know, how that how that works, how I can maneuver that. And also I know some people like to see the shuffling on camera. That being said, um, if I need to pause in order to reflect or meditate on the cards, give myself a minute to sort of absorb the message, then I will do that, okay? It's not my favorite way because that means I'll have to export the video, which doubles the time it takes for me to upload, but I will do that for you guys. <laughs> and I can already tell this cord is gonna be in the way. So if you have any questions or concerns, or a specific kind of reading you'd like to see today, go ahead and start focusing on that and thinking about that. And we'll see what we can do for you. Let's see what we get. So this is a love reading, okay? It's a love reading and I'm gonna use a couple of different decks and I'm gonna try to get some verbatim messages from you guys and then also interpret them the traditional and intuitive way as well. But I've been playing a lot with the um, tarot verbatim system and I want to keep learning that because I am a very direct communicator and so the idea of the cards actually speaking to me in literal sentences is always has always been very attractive to me but that being said I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a couple more shuffles and trusting that the messages that the viewers need to hear will come out for them regarding their love life taking some flyers here. They will need to fly out of the deck. That's just the mood I'm in. <laughs> if the cards have anything to say, I need them to say it, okay? Show me what I need to see. Page of Swords. Another page, page of cups, get one more from this deck and then I'm going to get a different deck here. And we've got the three of swords. So somebody's irritated because they don't know if they are uh, still in separation you know from someone if there is still heartbreak in a situation okay so somebody is irritated because they just don't know about this breakup this this heartache this separation whatever the case may be with us with that three of swords so i'm getting initially there I'm also getting sharp words were spoken or there has been some unkind words or gossip here um, perhaps between a an air sign and a water sign resulting in hurt feelings or someone doesn't know if other people are talking about them and their situation potentially a third party situation but something that does not feel good you know what that three of swords energy okay we've got the moon card 
Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the moon. There were several that were trying to come out, but they didn't know if they wanted. They lacked the courage of their conviction, so I, I'm, I'm not trusting them. I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. Let's keep going. Tell us more about this story and give us clarity on the viewer's love life and what message they need to know. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. So we've got some Cancerian or Piscean energy and Earth energy here. So I am seeing somebody that is speaking about or thinking about, you know, the troubles within this connection. And they're also talking about moving forward, that they know that they must do something and that for sure they need to do something. For sure they need to make an affectionate gesture. Uh, they need to, you know, show their softer side and you know, and extend an apology is what I'm hearing or do something nice. Okay. They know that for sure needs to happen because they've left somebody waiting with that seven of pentacles or there's a lack of, um, there's a lack of clarity. It's a wait and see sort of thing that's going on here with the three of swords. Um, someone is apparently, you know, heartbroken over, you know, things, um, taking a long time, there being frustration in the connection, there being um, a long waiting period, and, a, and it being a lot of work, okay? I'm going to use this little deck over here that I haven't used in a while. It's a vintage starter deck, so it has the keywords on it, and I just like the little pictures as well because they're I think they're like hand drawn by children or something or at least that's what they look like goes with the um, the style of the deck that being a starter deck so if the mic is being bumped around or making any noise guys you know sorry I can't help that I, I don't know what it's going to sound like until I listen to this reading back which I plan on doing on my morning walk because it is really nice outside right now. It's very cool. It's my favorite kind of temperature. There's a little misty rain smell going on, a little overcast, lots of green. And uh, so it'll be a nice walk. And then I will know whether or not this microphone has um, served its purpose the way I wanted it to at that point. So I'll still upload it more than likely. But I'm just saying. So um, let's get some more information on this reading. So for whoever's watching and what messages um, they need to know. Give us more clarity. Flyers only. Thank you. We've got the Seven of Cups. We've got the Eight of Wands. like somebody's let the cat out of the bag and spoken on some things that they hadn't spoken on before or made themselves a little bit more clear in a way that they haven't before. There is um, some ir immaturity here with this person, whoever this person is, and the way that they talk about things. It feels like some um, insecurity about their deeper feelings, some fears around that. I think this person is afraid or... Yeah, with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. It was just what I was trying to say. Overburdened feelings. So feeling overburdened by their feelings because the moon is a card of very deep feelings, but it's also like um, mystifying feelings, confusing and fear-inducing feelings, like because of the depth and because of a lack of understanding regarding these feelings. 
and this person is um, they're not sure if what they're thinking uh, in, regard, in regards to the situation is foolish or like wishful thinking and it has to do with coming forward with an offer with that knight of pentacles like I said before they know they need to do something and whatever they do needs to be kind and it needs to be authentic. But really this person would like to like speed in with the force of the Eight of Wands. This person, um, they can't, they know that they can't fight with you. They can't, um, they can't be like prickly with you. Even if they feel some kind of way, some of these people are jealous. Some of these people could be keeping a close eye on you. Maybe they've seen something that they think that, you know, they should be jealous or cautious of. But this person knows they can't approach you sideways, that they have to come direct and they have to come correct. This person knows that. So, um, yeah, because you're the queen of, you're the queen of coins. They view you as somebody that is very secure in themselves, dignified, graceful, you could do well for yourself, like financially as well, but either way, you're just, um, you're a lovely and strong and grounded person. You're a hardworking person and more than likely you have been hurt by this person and or there has been a lot of stagnation or waiting in this connection. Yeah, and we've got the death and the ace of wands that we're trying to come out as well. This person feels like they need to stop being so so bossy, so pushy, so dominant. Um, there is something about that as well as like if this has been a strictly physical connection or if that's been too much of the focus in the connection, they know that that needs to stop or that has stopped, right? Because they need to take you more seriously. They know that changes need to be made to turn over a new leaf and have a passionate new beginning with you. Let's use this deck. I haven't used Cosmic Cycles in a while. We'll use that. And then probably the last unicorn deck because I know that's a popular one. People really like that one. I just wish that one would shuffle better. Like my Art Deco Tarot deck, it shuffles really beautifully. <laughs> Like, no problem to get a flyer or whatever out of, out of it. This one was very thoughtful, thoughtfully made. This Cosmic Cycles deck was very thoughtfully made. But it um, doesn't shuffle like I would like it to. Neither does the um, Last Unicorn deck, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And is more of a collector's deck. But I use it anyway because, you know, what's the point of having it if I'm not going to use it? Okay, so that being said, let's continue the story for whoever's watching what they need to know. What is this love reading about for them? So it kind of popped out. We've got the world card. Oops. Let's see, we've got two, like four cards that just popped out. I'm not taking them one at a time, but these like to stick together. Okay, we'll just take those. I have a feeling otherwise it's going to take a while. In the bottom of the deck, I saw, I saw this twice, so I'm going to point it out. The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy. There could be a work or school connection, but it feels like, um, like I said from the beginning with that Seven of Pentacles, that a lot of work has, a lot of work has been done on this connection and still needs to be, still needs to be done on this connection. Somebody is being very loyal to you. Or they're wondering if they were to be loyal, would that be reciprocated? So with the world and this uh, Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups, we got the Seven of Cups twice again. So you guys are both thinking about one another. 
uh, daydreaming about one another. And there is a decision that needs to be made here. It's like no matter what somebody feels here, because it will depend on, you know, your individual stories, who's who, but it depend. it looks like no matter what somebody feels here, no matter how confusing things can be, no matter like what fears anybody has about their feelings, there is a sense that, you know, you guys are supposed to be together, that this is supposed to come full circle. And no matter how distant someone is being or how much up on a pedestal this person has you, because it feels like with that queen of pentacles that someone is up on a pedestal and it's most likely the feminine. So it's most likely the viewer. And that, and that person on the pedestal does feel like they're out of reach, but at the same time, it's like, I belong with you is what I'm hearing. I belong with you. You belong with me. We belong together. This person also feels like you're unbothered, like you're not as bothered as they are. I think they know that if they've hurt you, they know that they've hurt you. If they broke your heart especially, then that's true. They know that. Hence the reason for wanting to come in with a, a nice gesture, like an apology, maybe even some flowers or a solid offer with that Knight of Pentacles. But they don't know, I don't feel like they know for sure just how much you think about them and how like connected you guys are emotionally. And that often when you're thinking about this person, they're thinking about you too. And when you're in your heart space about this, this person and when you're considering your options regarding this person and look like fantasizing about a potential future here, they're doing the same thing. And if there's any kind of confusion regarding any decisions that need to be made at that moment, this person is thinking the same thing. So you guys are really emotionally connected. But they do feel like nothing gets to her, right? They feel like nothing gets to you. Somebody could have, you know, other people that they're dealing with. And if so, I feel like you both have options. And I feel like some of you have left this person behind and that's why this person is looking at you from a distance thinking that nothing bothers you and gets to you and that you did what you had to do for you and that you've moved forward, maybe like physically moved, but either way, like you're moving forward in a positive direction and this person feels like they have to chase you. And some of these people are not used to chasing or very slow movers. Yeah, they're very slow movers and they feel like they have to chase you, but they're trying to decide like the best tact, the best way to approach it. Approach they should they come in fast? They'd like to come in fast, but at the same time, they don't want to give the wrong idea. But one thing that they, they do know is that they have to come after you. If they want you, they have to come after you. And they feel like you're going to be very surprised or that it will surprise you. Um, that it will shock you, that it will really, um, you know, take you aback when this person comes forward and that, you know, you might have to choose between them and somebody else or many other people. getting the last unicorn deck <laughs> bear with me guys some people like like I said they some people like the shuffling they say it's relaxing it has a relaxing sound other people don't I'm just like already getting a little impatient because I like to pre-shuffle and then like take my time to interpret the cards and then like when I sit down to record it they pretty much you know um, could move through it more efficiently but um, this is okay too. We're just going to go ahead and go with it and stuff. So let's get some more on this story. What does the viewer need to know?
buyers only tell us more give us more clarity on their love story here what do they need to know about this person or their situation please cups came out in the reading that I uploaded yesterday which is also a collective one-off reading so you should probably check that out if um, yeah because the ten of cups came out in that as well Some of you could be um, married or married to this person, maybe have a child or children with this person. This one keeps trying to fall out, or that's what you want, okay? If you don't want it, somebody wants it, your person wants it. This is like um, mama, papa, and babies, you know, happy home, happy family. This is a card, and the nine of cups is a card of desire and getting what you want, okay? And you know what? This is really rare, actually. I just realized that for the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups to come out side by side, that it, that bodes extremely, extremely well. Extremely. It just shows a lot of love in this connection. There's a lot of love. There is a lot of love in this connection. There's a lot of love to be had in this connection. Um, someone's cups are run, running over. It's like both of you guys, your cups are running over. We've got couples here. If somebody left, you know, they want to come back and or somebody wants to chase after the one who left. It's like you guys want to be together. Yeah, we've got this card coming out. The Five of Cups missing you, wanting to be together. Seven of Cups again. Somebody um, could be manifesting the other one, but I feel like if that's the case, then you guys are both manifesting each other. And you could just be doing it with your thoughts by thinking about each other a lot. Uh, daydreaming about each other a lot like I said you connect like psychically and emotionally when you do that just make sure that what you know what you're focusing on when you're doing that seven of cups stuff isn't like the past too much thinking about what you lost thinking about the heartache the heartbreak or whatever went bad whatever you don't like because you know you're gonna get more of that if you do that likewise if you focus on the fact that there are two, still two cups standing meaning that there is still a lot of hope for love connection partnership um, marriage, family, a home, there's real serious commitment potential here and a lot of love here. So that's what you need to be focusing on if that's what you want, because then you'll get that. Okay. But you have to be consistent. It's like, I want mama, papa and baby, but I, but I have failed or have lost. Okay. That's the message coming out from those three cards. So take it how it resonates. You know, someone doesn't even know if they have. They're trying to find out, you know, if, um, if they have lost. Lost in this game of love. Like if they have lost you, they're trying to figure that out. But it could be why they're watching you or talking about you. Let's see what else comes from this deck. Um, I'm kind of being guided to this one. Five of five of swords. abusive behavior there's no way to sugarcoat the five of swords but i'm wondering why it's coming out on the family cards and on the world card which softens any ne any negative cards maybe this person feels like they've been abusive towards you maybe this person comes from an abusive family and that's where they learned it from not that it's an excuse 
But with the moon card, it's like somebody is troubled here. Like somebody could have challenged mental health. But if so, I feel like they are getting the help that they need. And it could be coming in the form of family or friends or friends that feel like family. And we've got this guy. Okay. The um, Knight of Pentacles wanting to come out again. Like if any of you are struggling in any of the ways that I just mentioned, if you're having a really hard time, if you're in the Three of Swords, um, not because of this person, but because of your own relationships or your things that are going on in your personal life unrelated to this person, this person wants to come in and they want to be that person to give you the, the shirt off their back. If you don't know this person I'm talking about, there's someone in your energy coming in that wants to be that person or is that person, the kind of person that you can bring home to meet your parents and feel proud of that. Like this is a solid stand-up person. Give you this shirt off, off their back. Very sure-footed and reliable and consistent. This one also tried to come over come out is the two of cups which I was talking about the two of cups when I looked at the five of cups and saying you know focus on what you can have no matter how hard things have gone you know for you in the past in love there is hope for a reconciliation with your soulmate um, or a new love affair where it's going to be very serious and love is going to be mutual okay but there is something that's like being held over the head of the potential of this connection or held over your head here not I mean, I feel like there needs to be some protection. So if you're the praying kind or whatever you do for protection, go ahead and affirm for that. I don't want to scare you because I don't mean it that way. I just mean that we can be our own worst enemy when we focus on the things we don't want. And especially if we're coming from a troubled background, we really need to, um, we need to clear that out, clear that energy out so that um, we can get what we deserve because you guys... If anybody deserves a happy ending, it's you. You know, whoever this reading is for, if anybody, if, in, if anybody deserves a happy ending, it's you. And it's definitely in your energy to have a happy ending. Okay? All is not lost. Focus on that two of cups and not the three that have been knocked over. Don't cry over spill, spilled milk, okay? This person wants to come over and they want to offer you love. Let me get one more card. Because those kind of were a two for deal and came out together. I just saw the world card in judgment. So judgment coming back. Um, world talking about, you know, this is a protected divine connection. That it is untouchable, okay? So that alleviates some of any kind of worry that you might have right there. But let's get one more card from this deck. Thank you. Yeah, very strong. Look at, this is what I was talking about. So there's some devil energy here that has perhaps tried to get between you and your love life and or you and a person that you love and want to be with. There is some sort of third party interference, whether it's a, a person or an energy. And that's what I was talking about with the, um, you know, with the two of cups. Give me a moment here. Yeah, you definitely, um, first of all, know that you are protected and that you are strong enough to handle anything um, with the star at the bottom of the deck. So feeling good and feeling grateful for the things that are going well for you now and even feeling grateful in advance for the love that you're going to receive, all of these things bless and protect this love and help it, you know, help it along and, and help it to be protected. And so this is what you're being guided to do is to prepare for that. That way, anytime any sort of um, interference tries to come and happen in your love life again because I feel like it's happened before if it tries to happen again um, by feeling good and um, doing some sort of like ritual with the star energy or talking to people that you know love you and that you trust about things or just affirming for the kind of love that you want. These are the things that are going to bless and protect your relationship. It's like you can get at, you can get out in front of it, okay? You don't have to um, let anything come in and interfere with this love. Even if it's your own, you know, issues or, um, you know, a troubled past or this person's troubled past. Um, 
whatever this inner potential interference is, it doesn't it doesn't stand a chance because you really are strong with this Leo energy, this Earth energy. This love is strong with the with all these cups, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the world. And so just, you know, any weapon formed against you will not prosper, right? Re return to sender. And um, I forgive my enemies because vengeance is God, right? So that's what it is. And you definitely have the strength to handle whatever's, you know, forthcoming. For sure, for sure, for sure. You have that strength. It's a very strong message that's coming through. So um, do your rituals, your, your protection rituals or your affirmations or prayers or whatever you want to do with that. But know that, you know, you know, you're solid, you're good. I don't see like anything that you need to worry about really with that. So somebody needs to hear that. Somebody's been through some stuff. I'm hearing hell. Somebody's been through hell. This soulmate connection has been very, very challenged. We've got wedding at the bottom of the deck. This is very well the person you're going to marry if you're not married to them already. Because the strength card is a card of divine partnership as well. And it's talking about a relationship that is so very strong that it has impacted you, you know, like both irreparably, like no matter what, this has been a good influence on you in a, in a sense, like on a soul level. And or when you meet this person, this is going to be a very strong connection. And maybe you're very different, but you handle each other well and you're very into one another, okay? Um, so, and the feminine knows how to handle this person and this situation. Um, she has all the skills that she needs to really handle this situation, to, you know, to protect herself and also to um, benefit from this love affair, from this relationship. And to sort of like... Like I said, protect herself and get out in front of any sort of issues that could potentially threaten the relationship in the future. What other messages can we get? We've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you, this is in fact a new love. This is a new person. Even if they are a brand new person, this is somebody you've known before, probably in a parallel reality, aka past life, right? This is a soulmate, I already said that. This is an important relationship that's going to change your life for the better, okay? And it's also talking about with that Five of Cups. You need to approach this um, like it's a new love. Because if you guys have... Um, a bad history in your love life or with the person, you know, that needs to be healed and left in the past. When you forgive, you free yourself. When you don't, you, you tie yourself to um, having the same thing happen again in the future. So forgiveness is key. And I, this is what I was talking about, unhealthy or un unhappy family situations affecting you or your person with the healing family issues card. Healing needs to take place there. Just know you're being divinely guided and helped along in the healing journey regarding like your family relationships because this isn't just about romance because family and stuff like that you know they do impact the way that we um the way that we see love deal love deal with love and um you know the type of partners that we attract so if you didn't feel like you deserve love just know you do deserve love you are lovable somebody's really struggled here if that doesn't resonate for you then it could be this person coming in this new person this or this new version of the person that you're attracting in for those of you who are actively consciously manifesting someone because you cannot align with and nor should you align with the old version that was not good for you and if you aligned with someone who wasn't good for you it's because you still had some family issues to heal and so your love life benefits when you forgive your parents. So it could be, you know, like the card says, needing to forgive your parents or just needing to forgive other people who have been close to you, like family, who did you dirty, who did you wrong, okay? Or made you feel in any way, shape, or form that you didn't deserve love because you need to know that you do deserve love. Stand in the mirror every day, say it to yourself, write it down, shout it from the rooftops. I don't care what you have to do. Listen to love, self-love sub subliminals. Do anything you have to do. Somebody needs to hear it big time. You are lovable. And then we've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. 
and stay optimistic about your love life. So lots of very positive, um, synchronistic messages coming out from that deck. And I'm almost like hesitant to put it away. So there's probably another message for you guys. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your love life or your life in general. It's time to take back control of your life. We've got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So some of you, this person is somebody that you had a very strong chemistry with. And it didn't matter if for whatever reason, one or both of you was not, not available for like a serious relationship or to honor each other the way that, you know, you each deserved. And it could be that somebody is attracting people that can only offer them so much because innately deep inside, they don't feel worthy or good enough. Um, but the chemistry is off the charts. It's off the chain. This person in you, you touch, it's like, it's like electricity. Okay. You guys feel very um, comfortable with each other and very attracted to one another. There is going to be a strong magnetic attraction here between the two of you. That being said, you need to get to know each other. Okay. You need to resist any urge or temptation to move too quickly on that chemistry. If that means you abstain from getting physical, then that's what that means. But however you choose to handle it, getting to know each other is important because however long you've known this person, um, there's still more to learn. And if you're trying to um, align with a better version of this, this person or this situation, then you're going to have to learn you know, about each other again, as if you were new people. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it can't just be about the chemistry guys. I think it's going to be very tempting for it to be, um, about the chemistry to move too fast. We saw with the eight of wands that, you know, there is that energy and desire to get caught up to move too fast. If this person's coming towards you slowly, um, they're going to want to, like, they want to, they want to move more quickly, but you know, they're doing the smart thing and they're taking it slow and being in the Knight of Pentacles energy because that's really how you honor the relationship by um, loving each other and knowing each other as individuals and as people. And that's how you deepen the bond, which is what you both deserve. OK, and this love is already here. Like if you're not with this person yet, it's already um, here in the 5D. And it will be here when, you know, if you don't know this person, it's going to be here. But that doesn't mean that you can skip to the end, right? Um, it means that you there's still work to do. Some of you need to let go of control issues or your person with that five of swords. That makes sense. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? So maybe don't, um, I mean, you have free will in your reality. Kind of handle it the way you want to. You know, you don't have to um, be overly rigid you know, when it comes to pacing the relationship, once it gets going, and if you feel comfortable at a certain point doing certain things, then, you know, follow your, your inner guidance and do what you feel is right. But at the same time, um, let the situation unfold naturally. Let's get one more card here. So you don't have to be overly rigid, let it unfold naturally, but at the same time, be cognizant of the fact that there's still more that you need to learn and obviously the way that you deepen any relationship is through really getting to know each other and taking the time to do that by having heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other and expressing your love saying how you feel about one another and if there are any red flags that you perceive or they per they perceive that needs to be out in the open so this is taking this is requiring the courage that i know that you guys have with that strength to talk about things that may concern you to be vulnerable with each other with this children card your love life is affected by children. This could be the one you have children with. Children also could already be a factor here. Somebody has already got, already has a child with this person, but you guys are in separation. But either way, it's like being vulnerable like children with one another. I mean, this is what you guys can have is a very pure connection. This gives me six of cups energy. It's a very sweet, romantic and pure connection. But, um, you know, you do have to pay attention to the signs and whenever you see something, you know, hold people accountable, hold yourself accountable, honor their boundaries, um, honor your own boundaries. If there's any sort of discrepancy on how either one of you perceives the other one's boundaries, like if somebody's being too controlling or if just like somebody is stepping on the other one's toes or if somebody feels like the other one's like pulling away or not being as emotionally available, you know, you need to talk about those things, have a heart to heart conversation. And um, the masculine should not be let, the masculine should not be let off the hook here. 
because this is a past life relationship, like I mentioned before, parallel, parallel life relationship. You have known each other before, and we've got, um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and receive the highest energy of all. We've got romantic feelings and give your relationship a chance. Your feelings are worth exploring, but this is going to take work. Okay, so these are all things that you need to be aware of coming in for you and your love life. So if you're wondering, like, is any of this real or am I just delusional, yada, yada, yada. I mean, either one of you could be wondering that with the Seven of Cups showing itself so many times. Um, the, the Romantic Feelings card is coming out to validate that. No, this is in fact real. I feel like in a past life, you guys, there was an unrequited love situation or somebody felt like um, the love was not reciprocated. Because as I picked this up and I've even shuffled it a couple of times, we still have unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. And this is the past life deck. And so it's talking about this past life and with the romantic feelings card on top saying that you're really, your feelings are real. I mean, two plus two equals four. It's talking about letting you know that whatever you guys might feel or might have felt, you know, in another life. Um, you know, if you might have felt like you didn't love this person back or you didn't love them as much or they didn't love you as much or you have these issues from previous relationships or family relationships in your past with this um, you deserve love card coming out saying yes you do deserve love all of that um, is being addressed here by saying you know this is real the romantic feelings are real between the both of you We've got communal, communal living. Okay. So it could have been a situation where, you know, it was a, a relationship of convenience or somebody is in a relationship of convenience presently. Um, but that could have, you know, contributed to people feeling like maybe this isn't real or maybe my love isn't reciprocated. But we saw with the two of cups as well. You know, there's a lot of love between the two of you and the two of cups is about mutual love and mutual affection, feeling the same as the other person. But communal living has something to do with that. So just let that sit and seep with your intuition and maybe you'll get some sort of an insight or epiphany about how that alternate life is perhaps affecting you in this relationship in the present or maybe in the future it'll start to make sense, right? It usually means that you like live with other people, right? And so there's a lot of people around and a lot of opportunity for, you know, outside interference. And um, everybody's depending on everybody else. So it's, there's more that brings people who live in a, a communal living setting together than just love. So it could have been just like maybe, maybe this is a convenience type deal. And so then that raises some, some doubts in, in people like, you know, would this person be with me otherwise except, you know, for the fact that, that they depend on me and I depend on them. Like, do they really love me or is this just convenient kind of thing? So what I'm feeling is the at the heart of anybody's like insecurities about whether that whether or not they deserve love and that's and that sort of thing. So that's why I just said all of that. I don't feel like that's going to be the case going forward. I just think these are things that you need to be aware of just in case. And somebody out there. You know you're in that scenario now it's kind of like a situation of convenience or your person is so maybe it's just you know coming out for that reason too spirituality as within so without we all have this energy if we wish to let it out so yeah you're dealing with spiritual spirituality is confusing somebody here with the confusion card underneath that um and somebody is just choosing to be blind to to the spiritual connection and if they are doing that it's due to the confusion right the, their feelings have been um I mean, this person has been taken aback right somebody's going to be taken aback like you know, it could even be you. If you don't know this person, you meet someone, you know, you're going to want to stop and like catch your breath and really kind of reflect on whether or not you're being fair in, in the situation, seeing it, seeing it clearly. And you're going to have to, 
you know, challenge yourself to be more courageous or this person will need to do that because the spiritual aspect of the relationship causes confusion and um, makes, you know, somebody feel insecure. But there's already some insecurity that exists here in this connection. And so these are more reasons for that insecurity and or, um, you know, something to watch out for could be one of the red flags that somebody you know if this person or you starts to feel like confused or unsure in the relationship and there doesn't seem to be a specific or good reason it's you know likely because you know spiritual relationships are something that it's likely likely because of the spiritual connection which is a little confusing it's a little otherworldly if you're not used to that it can be scary it's a very deep deep thing that we have going on between the two of you and somebody might not be ready for that but um you know, you're a powerful manifester, so, you know, let that, um, let that spirituality flow and let yourself have what you want and, um, let your feelings out, connect with someone, you know, if you feel these feelings towards this person and them towards you, there's a reason for that, right? It's not something that should, anybody should be scared of. Again, communication is going to be very important here. And saying how you feel, even when it's hard, is going to be important here. Let's get a final message from my art deck with tarot cards. Then I'm going to pull an outcome card for you guys. And then I think I'll pull some messages as well. This has already been a longer reading than I had wanted it to be, but that's okay. Um, I, I haven't made any cuts, so I'm not going to have to uh, export this, which means it won't take as long to upload. So that makes me happy. That helps me to continue on with the reading, despite, you know, how, however long it's taking. But let's get one more message um, from the cards on, on your love life. For those who are watching, let's get you know, a final message from the tarot cards, you know, on the situation. What do they need? What do they need to know? I popped out. We've got a King of Wands. Lots of fiery passion and energy here. Seven of Wands. Somebody here is dealing with the masculine. And then I stopped on the Knight of Pentacles again. So you could be dealing with more than one person. But if you're here for your divine masculine, then this person is used to everything being a battle and everything being a fight. Like, that's normal for them. So don't take it too personally if this person gets a little lippy. I'm hearing a little lippy or a little short with you. This could be something that you, one of the things that you're going to need to address with this person. Like, teach this person how to treat you. We, we treat everybody how to treat us. We show them how to treat us by how we treat ourselves and by how we handle and hold ourselves and how and, and what we allow from them. So this person may just need to learn how to put their guards down and be less defensive. So that could be one of the things that you're having to address with this person. Like it's not okay. You know, maybe that was the way you were raised. You know, that's how you're used to talking to people. But if you're going to be my match, the King of Pentacles to match the Queen of Pentacles that I feel is the viewer to match you. If you're, if you're going to be my match, you're going to have to um, you're going to have to be a gentleman, right? You're going to have to watch your tone with me. Any, any other messages? Not walk on eggshells, but have respect. Like, show me the same respect that I show you. And if you can't do that, then, you know, there's no point. <laughs> but since I see this going very well, I think it, yeah, this is your divine counterpart. I see this going very well. I see you as the empress. If you're, if you're a man, you're an emperor. And I see you being in this empowered state. And I see you being treated really well and 
this person could um, do very well for themselves financially. You guys could turn out to be a power couple, for lack of a better term, because that's not my favorite term. Um, but definitely um, a financially stable and secure couple. And whatever you know you do have or don't have, the feminine in the situation is going to feel adored. She's going to live a luxurious life and she's going to be well loved with the eight of wands coming out again like this person might be holding themselves back from really sweeping you off your feet in the early stages but once you guys get comfortable with each other once you guys get to know one another i do feel like it's going to be a whirlwind romance you're going to sweep each other off um, your feet one of the things this person is going to do for you is spoil you this person is going to really make you feel like a woman like in the most traditional sense. And you're going to feel like you're going to really get in touch with your divine energy more than you probably ever have before. And that's really saying something because Queen of Pentacles is a very feminine energy anyway. But she's also one that, you know, has to put on her business suit and, and go to work and make money and like can run her own business and things like that. Just for example, right? She's somebody that, um, you know, is used to holding her own. But, but with the Empress, the Empress is just basically, she's all love, she's all um, softness and femininity. And in order for her to be that means that her counterpart has to be, you know, her equal and opposite. The one, the one that kind of assumes the role of being more, um, more grounded and practical and more of the leader in the situation. Okay. So what I'm saying is it's a beautiful thing. Because this is somebody that's being able to be soft and feeling you have to feel safe enough and secure enough to be soft. And this is and this is you guys being soft and being safe and secure and able to do that. Okay? Being well loved. And so I'm all, also hearing that as well. Being extremely, extremely well loved. And this person is going to feel like they have to fight. Fight others off. Like they have to fight people off with a stick. You know, to keep them away from you. And I think this is the type of person that's going to stand up for you as well. They're definitely going to stand up for you and defend you and protect you. They're going to want to fight with you sometimes too. Because this person is still healing and grow growing as well. Some of you, what I said about like um, having really strong self-esteem issues or having had a rough childhood or past. It's really taking a toll on them. They're still healing from. And there's forgiveness that still needs to take place. Um... So until that's completely done, you know, you're still going to be kind of up on a pedestal in this person's eyes. And that's going to make them feel like a bit defensive or insecure. When people are feeling defensive and insecure, they're not their total and complete best self. But, I mean, you're going to make this person shine. They're just going to love looking at you. They're going to find you beautiful or handsome. They're going to think you're just absolutely gorgeous. You're going you're gonna to really turn them on. You're going to inspire them. You're going to inspire them to work hard to do what they need to do to provide for you and to protect you. You're really going to get this person in their divine masculine or divine feminine energy. For most of you, it's the divine masculine energy. So... He's going to really protect you. You're like his source. You're, you're, you're his wellspring of... Um, love and sensuality you're his home so this person is really going to really going to protect you so that's the main thing coming through for that so that's that's lovely that's really nice i really like that i do want to get um, one more deck here to get your outcome card and we'll get some messages from this person please hit the like button and subscribe if you do like the reading i appreciate it if you, if you found it interesting or helpful in any way that would be great it's a nice way to support the channel and keeps me coming back and doing more readings it keeps me doing this basically and if you'd like a private reading my contact information is below the video in the description box so go ahead and check that out you pay via paypal cash app um, venmo my website um, accepts credit cards but you know i do prefer the other methods you know more so but you know whatever you need to do and thank you to those of you who support the channel my subscribers those of you who've gotten personal readings for me this week you guys are also the ones who keep the channel going. So let's get an outcome card for this reading, please. Oh, and I did want to get those um, those fairy cards too. Oh, in a minute.
Oh yeah, I got a bunch of different cards that came out. I'm seeing the Two of Cups again. I'm seeing, um, yeah, it's really unusual for this person to put their guards down and um, allow themselves to feel vulnerable. And if this person has waited for you, that's really unusual for them to do that. But we all wait for our soulmates in the end to some extent, right? Like we usually don't. Most people are not... Um, meeting their soulmates at the age of 15, for example, and then like staying with them for 50 years. Although I regularly see people, um, you know, posting about that. I see people that I know, I know people who have done that, but it's very rare. I just need one card for the outcome, please. We've got the um, page of wands. So just expect some good news. That's what it's saying. It's basically, you know, the gist with that one. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Page of wands is also about open communication. People being honest and um, being honest and open. It's also a very optimistic and idealistic card. It's a very passionate card as well can be the card of like younger people some of you guys are watching are either you know younger in age or young at heart or you just bring this out with a children card you guys bring that out in one another which is a beautiful thing showing about you know the sweetness that you bring to the table the ability to be vulnerable with one another I mean she wouldn't be laying back like that um you know basically in her bed with her you know arms wide open if she felt um defensive or guarded she's not going to need to feel that because her masculine is going to feel that for her for some of you, it might be new that this person stands up for you against friends and family, I'm hearing, but um, just in general, maybe they didn't work for this relationship before in the past, or again, even if this is a new person, this is new for them, the way that they're going to be handling you and approaching you. It's something that they're growing into, and it's kind of new for them still. But they're going to do it because, you know, because they love you and are attracted to you, and they just feel the spiritual connection with you. Give me a second. I think this person is, is a very kind person. There is going to be some sort of communication that, you know, shifts the direction of the relationship that, at present. some of you this person is going to come across very uh, very warm and again this can be a new person you could even be talking about the viewer being a very confident and um, accomplished person very smart very driven so this could be something that you're really wanting you're really manifesting this in And obviously, you know, you're a very attractive person as well. You've got self-love. Love yourself first. So it's really important that you love yourself first. And one of the ways you can do that is love languages. Um, like some of you, your love language is affirmations. And, you know, you don't need to just wait for somebody else to say these affirmations to you, these kind and affirmative supportive words to you. You need to say that to yourself like every day. Monitor your inner, uh, your inner dialogue, your mental diet, your thoughts. Some of you, this keeps coming out. Um, really uh, need to do that more. Others of you are already doing it. This is validation to keep doing it. But some of you, it's like, yeah, if you didn't know this, your love language is affirmations and you need to start telling that to yourself so that this person can, you know, learn from you how to treat you and how to talk to you. And it's going to be important too, that like I said before, this person needs to learn how to talk to people respectfully and, you know, maybe the way that they were brought up, they were able to be like a smart ass or sarcastic or just like a certain kind of way that might rub you the wrong way. Um, this is telling you that 
I mean, that's a message, just a side message as well, but mostly this is about how do you love yourself by talking to yourself nicely and kindly. And this will make you a more attractive person too because the happiest, you know, the prettiest people are the happiest people. And you're happy when you're kind to yourself. And one of the best ways to be kind to yourself is through telling yourself nice things, okay? But either way, you can expect some you know, good cheer, some happiness, um, somebody bringing some good news into your life. And with these affirmations, dreams come true. Um, have faith that your rainbow will come come smiling through. So it's all about self-love. It always stems back to that. Nobody should ever be in any kind of doubt about that. The world is not taught to, um, does not teach us to love ourselves. And that's like the biggest sin of all, the biggest mistake of all, because, you know, people can only love you um, as, as much as you love yourself, right? And uh, I don't care, you know, who doesn't like to hear it, facts are facts. That's just what it is. So um, the good news about that is, you know, you have the power, you can change things. Um, it's, it's in your hands basically to, um, to get the love that you desire by first giving it to yourself. And that's how you make your dreams come true. And for you, the viewer affirmations is, is the main way to make that happen. That's the, that's the form of self love that is first and foremost, the most important for you right now to practice. Okay. Let's get some messages from this person. Or it could be a person that you know or somebody from your future. So let's get some messages from the viewer's person. Oh, that's a lot of cards that just came out. I'm approaching you tentatively, not sure I want to put all my eggs in one basket yet. Um, so we've got that as well. So at first, this person's not going to feel like, like they know the answer, right? We've got that seven of cups earlier. We've got that a few times. It's a card of option, options and choices and somebody being confused. We've got the confusion card here too. So this is validation and an elaboration to give us more information. Ooh, <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't know it. This is more information on that. I'm approaching you tentatively matches the Knight of Pentacles energy showing that, you know, slow and steady wins the race. This person wants to come rushing towards you, but they also um, are taking it slow or they're going to take it slow. And for some of you, this is because this person is not sure they want to put all their eggs in one basket, even though they know deep down that this is a spiritual connection, that it's special and that it's different. They are not sure because, again, they're not sure about where your head's at or who you're seeing for those in separation. So um, bottom line, especially if it's a newer connection, you don't know until you know, right? But this person's going to know that they love you. And when they do that, it says, I'm content with you. Even if things have gotten a bit stale, I'm not leaving you. So you don't have to worry. Like if, it, if things get complacent in the relationship, there comes a point when you get out of the, the honeymoon phase where things calm down and, you know... Um, Obviously, things aren't as exciting as they used to be. And the King of Wands is somebody, you know, who likes to keep things kind of exciting. Um, I'm trying to see some other, some of these other cards here. I don't know why I keep thinking that this is your person's energy. So is the um, Page of Swords energy as well. Um, that Swords energy can be like that. But anybody can be like that. And um, just know that this person, they're not leaving you. They're not leaving you. We got that communal card earlier from past life as well. And so that's a card that's all talking about, you know, everybody doing their part um, in a community and um, it can get a little, you know, stagnant because everybody has certain responsibilities that they need to attend to. And, um, you know, like I had this one couple tell me, you know, years ago, the secret to a happy marriage is to find somebody that you don't mind being bored with because life can be pretty boring, right? Um, so... I feel like that's a message, especially for somebody who is a water sign dominant individual, but it could be for anyone. Um, I think the most important thing is, is that this person didn't leave you or you didn't leave them in a past life. Although you guys might've questioned, you know, your love for one another at a certain point for whatever reasons in that past life, um, you guys stay together. And I feel like in this life, you guys are going to know that you love one another. The love is mutual and the love is definitely going to be there. There's not going to be a question about that. Two plus four equals six. That's a number of love. Okay. That's a number of harmony, contentment, community. Again, that's interesting. Community, that word community again. And so I feel like, um, you know, some of you could have children from other relationships or there's going to be like 
family or friends involved in your relationship to some extent, but I don't feel like it's going to be to the same extent that it was in a past life where everybody's kind of living with one another in the same community or in a small village or something. It's not going to be like that in this life, but um, once this person knows that they love you, even you don't have to worry about them getting bored of you or anything like that. You know, you, you ain't ever get, you ain't ever getting rid of me. Okay. Rocky Balboa and Rocky, Rocky too, when he says that to Adrian and she's like laying on the bed and she's in her wedding dress and it kind of looks like a wedding dress. It's all white, but I think it's, it's a nightgown either way. That's what it reminds me of. And she says, I hope you never, I hope you never get tired of me. And he said, I ain't ever going to get tired of you and I'm never changing anything about you. And that's what this person is going to say to you. So maybe you're really headed towards, um, sort of like a, just like a romantic movie sort of scenario here. Uh, and it's beautiful to read for that. So I'm going to get a couple of more messages from this deck and then um, I, have to, I have to wrap it up. <clears throat> yep, that's what I was saying. I will be loyal to you. And I said that before with that Eight of Pentacles that um, somebody, this person is really loyal to you and they might, they might not have a good reason at this point to be loyal to you. I don't know your situation or um, you might not think or know that they're being loyal to you, but in a real way that, you know, when one of your people or somebody's person out there is being very loyal, the card says, I will be loyal to you. I know you get jealous, but know that I am committed to you. So I don't know if you're the jealous type or not. I feel like this person gets jealous. They might see that in you, project it on you because oftentimes like unaware or insecure people. And I said that somebody here is insecure, likely your person, they will do that. They will see in you something they don't like about themselves, even if it's not there. So they could like, like accuse you of being jealous. They could have been the jealous type coming into this, this relationship. And then that's something that you guys are going to have to work through. Um, Others of you, you know, that's something you're going to have to work through if you're the jealous type. But they're just saying, you know, um, they will be loyal to you. And know that I am committed to you. This is a, a committed relationship. This is something that is serious. You inspire me. You are so strong. I dream of you. Again, with the dreaming, the daydreaming, you are an inspiration to this person. They feel like you're on a pedestal with that, with that world energy, with that uh, empress energy. Um... And they feel like you're very strong with that strength card. They have a lot of faith in you. You're very important to them. You have no idea how much my heart races when I see you. So that came out in the reading that I did yesterday. So go ahead and check that one out. I think that was about um, somebody missing you um, and feeling like they've gone so long without you and wanting to tell you this. So check that out on my channel if you haven't already. But um, <laughs> with all the wands energy that we saw, it, it makes sense that this person you know, their heart would race when they see you because they're so attracted to you. They do, do the, they do find you exciting. I'm stumbling over my words. Maybe they will be at a loss for words with you. Um, but yeah. And you might say to this person, you know, darling, you know, any man won't do. I need you. I want you to be confident. So do it. It's another message somebody needs to hear. Okay. So this could be, you know, for whoever's that insecure person, that insecure energy that keeps coming up, they just need to be confident. But, um, and I feel like no matter how secure you are, this kind of a relationship, when we love somebody so much, and this is a spiritual soulmate relationship, there is going to be times when you are challenged in the confidence department where you feel insecure. That's pretty natural to some degree, right? But somebody here is definitely the more insecure, but, um, I feel like that's a message that you would say to them, like, uh, you know, to reassure them or you'll reassure each other. Like, I want you to be confident. So do it. And I do see this person being confident and taking those slow, steady, but sure steps towards you. And with the page of wands being the outcome, page of wands is somebody that's just going to wear his heart on his sleeve. He's just going to tell you how he feels like, I like you, or they're going to flirt with you, or they're going to ask you on a date. or <laughs> They're going to tell you something that is, you know, going to show you that, um, they want to start a romance with you. Okay that they see this going places. This is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Order um, a private reading if you'd like, um, you know, a reading and a look into your personal situation. Uh, again, that information is in the description box down below and I'll talk to you guys next time.